In order to continue financial and administrative reform steps, the Council of Ministers decided the following. One commitment that all state contracts executed inside Iraq will be in Iraqi dinars. In order to continue financial and administrative reform steps, the Council of Ministers decided the following. One commitment that all state contracts executed inside Iraq will be in Iraqi dinars. Except for those opened by an external documentary credit, in which case they will be according to the agreement between the two parties and for the value of the documentary credit only. To the Ministry of Planning will inventory all previous state contracts that were contracted in the U.S. dollar currency, with the exception of those for which an external documentary credit was open, and prepare a table of them, which will be sent to the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank with the amounts of these contracts due. Provided that the Ministry of Planning determines the upper limit. Monthly, the central bank must cover it in U.S. dollars, according to the receivables received from the contracting parties. The central bank covers these receivables at an exchange rate of 1,320 dinars for each U.S. dollar deposited in the account of the Ministry of Finance. For the purpose of covering the monthly payments to pay these contracts, according to the requirements, work and exchange release orders that meet release controls. 3. Regarding Iraqi borrowers from government banks, including the Iraqi trade bank, in the U.S. dollar currency. These banks are committed to repaying their loans at an exchange rate of 1,320 dinars for every U.S. dollar from the borrower, provided that the central bank covers these loans in U.S. dollars, which are repaid to the lending bank. This procedure applies exclusively to loans that were made before the issuance of this decision. The Council of Ministers also approved the recommendation of the Ministerial Council for the Economy, 230,204Q, as follows. 1. The Ministry of Transport postponed claiming its debts related to flooring fees and fines incurred by the General Iron and Steel Company and rescheduled them. Payment will be made when the aforementioned company's factories are operational. 2. The Ministry of Transport, the general company for ports of Iraq took all necessary procedures with the beneficiary parties and established a working mechanism that ensures the speedy removal of goods from the ports to avoid fines or floor fees due to delays in issuing them. As part of the Council's follow-up of the energy sector and progress in implementing paths of reform, development and exploitation of gas wealth, the Council of Ministers approved the recommendation of the Ministerial Council for Energy, 23083 of 2023 regarding the gas gathering and compression project in the Nasiriya oil field. According to the following, approval of the recommendation of the Central Committee for review and approval of the referral in the Ministry of Oil at its session held on August 6, 2023 regarding the request of DHI Car Oil Company, one of the companies of the Ministry of Oil, to approve the referral of the gas gathering and compression project in the Nasiriya oil field under the custody of the Coalition, Oil Projects Company, Ministry of Oil and Italian PEG, at an amount of only $272 million, $272 million, which is higher than the estimated cost by 7.3%, 
According to the DHI Car Oil Company's letter dated July 26, 2023.